Welcome to this video about Reaction Workbench and how to set up a mechanism reduction project using an existing closed homogeneous batch reactor ignition delay calculation from ChemCon Pro. First, let's open our project. I will go to my samples, mechanism reduction, and heptane. Step one. This is the ignition delay calculation I would like to use to perform a mechanism reduction. So I'll select that project. Now that we have our project open, let's review the settings for our ignition delay calculation. On the reactor panel, I can see I have a parameter study set up for temperature. So if I click the parameter study button, I can visualize what parameter study values I'm using in this simulation. So I have temperature varying from 700 to 1200 Kelvin and two different equivalence ratios. So we can use all of these conditions to reduce our mechanism so that they're valid across the range of parameter study values we're using in the project. For ignition delay calculations, we need to define how ChemCon Pro should determine when ignition has occurred. On the output control panel, there is an ignition delay tab where we can define different ways of defining ignition time or when has ignition occurred. In this case, we're going to choose temperature inflection point. I can save my project, and now we're ready to move to Reaction Workbench and set up our mechanism reduction project. I can launch Workbench directly from ChemCon Pro using the Workbench icon in the toolbar. That brings us over to Reaction Workbench, where I can create a new Reaction Workbench, and I can choose to start a mechanism reduction. And in this case, we're going to set up a new mechanism reduction operation. First, I need to specify the working directory. I'm going to choose my home, and I need to choose an initial ChemCon project. Since we've already opened the project in ChemCon Pro, it should be in our shortcuts list. So I will choose the closed homogeneous batch reactor that we just opened in ChemCon Pro. So the first mechanism reduction, the initial and target ChemCon project are identical. We can specify a reduction root name. I typically use the reduction method I'm planning for this step as the name. So I will call this DRG EP1. There are multiple methods for reducing mechanisms using Reaction Workbench. DRG and DRG EP are the most commonly used reduction methods. They are fast and efficient. The other option is full species sensitivity analysis, which we typically use after running successive reduction steps to get further reduction. In this case, let's choose DRGEP and let's choose no linear lumping in this case. Now we're ready to specify our targets. The targets are used to compare the reduced mechanism results with the master mechanism results. In this case, let's choose ignition time as one of our targets. Let's choose an emission species like NO. Now we need to go to the next step and define our tolerances. The tolerances are the error we're willing to accept between the master and the reduced mechanism. The absolute tolerance or the minimum cutoff can be used to neglect any differences below a certain threshold. In this case, let's choose 1e minus 6, which would mean 1e minus 6 seconds, or 1 microsecond for ignition time, and 1e minus 6 mole fraction, or 1 ppm for NO. And let's choose to use 10% relative tolerance. We have different options for how we wish to compare the values between the master and the reduced mechanism. This is a transient simulation, so we could choose to compare the entire profile or we could choose to use the endpoint or maximum. Ignition time is an endpoint value, so let's specify endpoint for ignition time and maximum for NO. Now we've defined our tolerances. Let's move on to the next step to select species. Select species are species we choose to keep in the mechanism but not necessarily define as a target. In this case, let's select the O as a species we would like to keep, but we're not necessarily using as a target. In the ChemCon Pro setup, we saw where we had specified a parameter study, which has all of the conditions we would like to use for the mechanism reduction. We could use all of these points 
to reduce the mechanism, or we could choose to use only a few of the points. So that the mechanism reduction runs fast, for this video, let's choose one condition. Let's clear our selections. Let's choose an equivalence ratio of 1, 1200 Kelvin for the initial temperature. Choose Next, and we can run our reduction, and Reaction Workbench will automatically reduce the mechanism to the smallest mechanism possible based on the tolerances and targets we have defined. The master mechanism, in this case, has 980 species. Let's get the reduction started. So I'll click Run Reduction. I can specify a name. I'm going to choose Inheptane Reduction. Okay, and that will start the reduction process. There will be multiple mechanism reductions performed during the process. Once we've reached the error threshold we specified for our, tar our target, the mechanism reduction process will stop, and that will be our reduced mechanism. Now our mechanism reduction is complete. Reaction Workbench has identified step number nine is our optimal skeletal mechanism. So we can see that we have reduced the mechanism from 980 species down to 187 species. If we remove any more species from the mechanism, we exceed the error thresholds we specified for NO and for ignition time. We could also compare the results between the master and the reduced mechanism. In addition, we could post-process the results in ChemCan if we desire to do so. Now that we've completed this mechanism reduction step, in the lower right-hand corner, we could choose to set up another operation where we could perform another mechanism reduction, starting with the 187 species mechanism and try to further reduce the mechanism. Thank you for viewing this video about reaction workbench and mechanism reduction. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the sales or support team by emailing sales at reactiondesign.com or reactiondesign-support at ansys.com. Thank you.